and welcome back to Voyage of a Time Wanderer. Today I am here with my Anne of Green Gables rag doll for a very exciting readathon announcement. So I am super excited that in the month of May, I am going to be a co-host of a Lucy Maud Montgomery themed readathon, and I couldn't be more excited to share some of the details with you. So this readathon was spearheaded by my friend Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia, and when she asked me if I was interested in being a co-host, it was a no-brainer to say yes because Lucy Maud Montgomery is one of my all-time favorite authors both someone that I enjoy reading now as an adult, but also an author that has some serious childhood nostalgia for me. So there are actually five of us who are going to be co-hosts for this readathon. Uh, obviously there's Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia, there's myself, there's Chantel from Chantel Reads All Day, Courtney from Courtney Reads, and Dia from A Novel Idea. So those are the five of us who are going to be co-hosting this readathon and it takes place over the entire month of May, so May 1st to 31st. And if you're wanting to share how you are participating in this readathon, you can use the hashtag, hashtag MontgomeryMay on any social media platform. And that is going to be a great way to check out uh, different people's posts that are involved in this readathon and find more Montgomery related reading inspiration. We are going to be doing a group read and the book that we're choosing for this group read is Kilmeny of the Orchard and I'm really excited about reading this book because this is one of the Montgomery standalone novels that I actually have never read so it's always exciting to start a new to me Montgomery book and I can't wait to read it and discuss it. There's going to be two different live shows related to Montgomery May. There's going to be some kind of midpoint reading sprints and that will be on Saturday, May 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern on Tiffany Beautiful Minutia's channel. And then we're also going to have a discussion around the group read Kilmeny of the Orchard and that is going to be on May 27th, also on Tiffany's channel, also at 4 p.m. Eastern. So I hope to see some of you there in the chat for those two events. And then of course, what would a readathon be without a bingo board? So Tiffany has kindly put together a bingo board for this challenge and I will put it up here. And so these are kind of some of the prompts that you can use. Uh, you can try to block out the board and fulfill all the prompts or just choose a couple to get a bingo. And these are a fun way to help you build a TBR for the month of May or kind of think of some activities that maybe you wouldn't have considered doing otherwise. So there's four prompts that are kind of book related. So the first book related prompt is to read the group read and so that obviously relates to what I was just talking about, about uh, the group read being Kill Many of the Orchard. So if you want to participate in the group read then you would be able to check off that box. The second book prompt is to read a short story by Lucy Maud Montgomery. This could be one of the short stories in her story collections related to Avonlea, The Story Girl and The Golden Road, which all relate to Sarah Stanley, The Story Girl, and was the kicking off point for the TV show Road to Avonlea. Or you could read one of her non-Avonlea related short stories. Uh, there's a number of bind-ups of just kind of her generic short stories that would fulfill this prompt. I'm hoping to read some of the short stories from this collection that I have along the shore, which is a collection of all of her kind of ocean, beach, seaside related short stories. So I think that'll be kind of a perfect late spring, early summer read. The third book related prompt is to read some nonfiction about Lucy Maud Montgomery or the time period that she wrote in and about. And for this prompt, I'm really hoping to find a good biography to pick up. And then the final book prompt is probably the one that I'm most excited about, and that is to read a book or a poem that's referenced in a Lucy Maud Montgomery book. And I'll link below, there's actually a great website that collects all the literary references in the Anne books, so that's a wonderful place to start uh, if you're looking for some inspiration for this prompt. But her books are just so literarily rich that I think this will be a really fun prompt because there's so many options to choose from. And then there's four prompts that are more related to creating some ambiance and some Montgomery vibes in your reading life in May. 
So the first of those prompts is to go on a picnic. Where I live, May is when the weather really turns and becomes nice enough to enjoy outdoor activities. So I'm really excited to maybe take a picnic down to the lake and have a weekend afternoon there with my husband. The second activity prompt is to read a poem aloud like Anne did. So you could combine this with the book prompt that's around reading a poem referenced in a Montgomery book, or you could just choose any poem that you like or you could find a Lucy Maud Montgomery poem to read out loud. Third is to share a stack of books on social media. Maybe your Montgomery May TBR and there's bonus points if one of the characters in those books could be considered a literary kindred spirit. And if you do uh, participate in this prompt, don't forget the hashtag Montgomery May. And then finally, the fourth activity prompt is to watch any Lucy Maud Montgomery adaptation. There are so many good uh, Montgomery adaptations. Obviously, the Anne movies are an absolute classic, but Road to Avonlea really has my heart. And so Tiffany and I are going to do, at some point in the month, date is still to be determined. So pay attention to our social media uh, for information about that. But we're planning to do a group watch of a Road to Avonlea episode in Tiffany's Discord. And I'm so, so excited about this because I really want to convert more people into being Road to Avonlea fans. I think it's just such a fun show that uh, lots of Anne fans haven't watched and I think they would really enjoy. So those are the prompts for the bingo board and I think it'll be a lot of fun over the month of May to cross off some of these activities. I'm hoping to put out uh, a couple Montgomery themed videos in May and there's also going to be a Montgomery May tag video so stay tuned for uh, us co-hosts to post our tag videos and we would love to see some response videos if you feel like doing that tag over the month of May. We've come up with some great questions that I think uh, you might find really enjoyable to answer. And then I've got a couple other video ideas related to Montgomery that I'm hoping to be able to film in the month of May. So I'm really excited about this readathon. I am so grateful that Tiffany asked me to be a co-host. Spring is a time that I always find myself reaching for Montgomery, whether that's a reread of a childhood favorite or one of the standalones that I haven't read yet. I just find the seasonality in her writing to be so beautiful and evocative and perfect for springtime. So I just think this will be a really wonderful readathon uh, to really embrace those spring vibes in the month of May. I really hope some of you will consider joining in the Montgomery May fun and please go check out my co-hosts channels and announcement videos and stay tuned, like I said, for other Montgomery content coming to you throughout the month of May. I'm also really excited to share a TBR video sometime either before May or early on in May. I'm still kind of finalizing what books I want to read for what prompts and uh, I'm probably going to have some extra books on my TBR because it's just too hard to narrow down the Montgomery goodness. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, enjoy wandering through the pages of a good book. Bye.